Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to create a custom shape PCB by using KiCad. In most of the cases, whenever you are designing a PCB in any PCB design software, so at that time you need to create a custom shape of the PCB based on the enclosure. So many beginners facing a issue while designing and uh, designing a PCB for uh, creating a custom shape PCB. Uh, this tutorial will help everyone to create custom shape PCB by using the software. And so the conventional way to create a custom shape PCB is by using any other drafting software like AutoCAD. Sometimes uh, many people are using uh, Fusion 360 for the 2D designing. After completion of a 2D border design for the PCB, you have to export it and import it to your uh, PCB design software. So today I am using KeyCAD PCB design software for this tutorial. So uh, this is the example I have uh, taken here. So this is the enclosure. I have found this enclosure in this website and uh, this is the shape of the enclosure uh, and uh, this is the inner side of the enclosure uh, in which uh, we will place our PCB. This box uh, has uh, three parts. One is the bottom part uh, and uh, second one is the top part. Uh, or the top enclosure part and uh, there is a one extra uh, mounting plate is provided with uh, this enclosure uh, so it has a total six screw with the box four is for the external plates and two is for the internal plates so the two screws will be mounted here to mount your custom design PCB right so first of all uh, we have decided that uh, uh, we have to create a PCB uh, which should be fitted in this internal region of the box so we should have the dimension of our box so they have provided a data sheet uh, in which they have mentioned the dimension but not all the dimension are mentioned here they have simply uh, provided the external dimension so based on our requirement i have created a separate file which indicates a uh, internal dimension so i have ordered one box and based on that uh, we will uh, prepare the internal PCB and I will show the step by step process uh, so that you don't have to learn any other software to create uh, this type of a simple PCB. So let's open uh, the keycap and let's create a one project. So to create a project you can click on the file, go to the new project, uh, set, set the directory and uh, give the file name uh, here and I have created one project uh, which is named as a border. So, Currently, we are only discussing the PCB borders, so I will directly jump into the KeyCAD PCB. So just double click it and it will open the PCB uh, designer window. So uh, first of all, in KeyCAD, uh, in each and every PCB design software, there will be an uh, origin from which uh, the sheet started. Okay, so in the KeyCAD, uh, they, are, they have uh, used the origin as uh, this corner. If you can see here, uh, uh, this will be zero so you can easily see that uh, this is the origin and with reference to origin we will create our entire enclosure we can change the origin uh, based on our requirement but i would like to prefer uh, this corner itself because uh, during the pcb design all the components are already placed here in the blank space or anywhere else in the sheet so we need an uh, empty area so most of the corners uh, will be empty so it will be better to use default grid here in case so how we will begin uh, with our uh, border line to provide a custom shape uh, we will use a line rectangle or any other main uh, shapes as per our requirement so in our design you can see that we uh, have to use the straight lines it has a horizontal lines and vertical lines right and we will need a rounded corner means we will use curves for each and every shape right and you can see that uh, the horizontal dimension for this PCB is around 59 mm and the vertical dimension is around 75 mm. We will only focusing on the internal dimension, right? And uh, another thing is uh, two holes has a, a distance about 67 mm, okay? And uh, this is a by default. So we will uh, use the bottom plate, uh, actually bottom plate is located here uh, in our, yeah. So uh, you can see that this is the bottom plate and uh, bottom plate should have uh, the dimension which, uh, which will be lesser than uh, this dimension to fit inside the enclosure. So for example, 
the internal dimension of the original part of the box is 59 mm so our pcb should have a lesser uh, horizontal distance for example 58 mm or 58.5 mm okay so according to that we will design our uh, edge cuts okay. so let's begin uh, with by placing uh, simple lines uh, which have a distance of 59 mm and uh, 75 mm so we have two dimension 59 and 75 so currently uh, just for the practice i am using the same dimension for your convenience otherwise we can also use the 1 mm less or uh, half mm from this side and half mm from this side means overall we can uh, use uh, 58 mm for the horizontal dimension and the 74 mm for the vertical dimension but for this tutorial i am using the same dimension so let's put uh, 59 and 75 mm lines so first of all you have to understand how the uh, origin point works for example if you want to draw a 10 mm by 10 mm square just to understand the grid i am taking this example uh, so uh, this is our uh, rectangle right and currently you can see that this is in the red color means it is in the front copper so first let us shift it to the edge cuts and uh, this is edge cuts and place okay you can change the level by just double clicking on on the shape or you can select the shape and press e on your keyboard and you can change the layer right so edge cut is, is the layer where your uh, machining pro during the machining process it will detect uh, where to put the cuts okay so the drill machine will uh, use the uh, cutting by means of uh, edge cut okay so currently we have uh, placed a manual uh, rectangle and we don't know the dimension right okay so to change the dimension of the rectangle and we want to create a 10 by 10 m uh, centimeter uh, of a rectangle right so currently you can see that uh, the start point and end point is given so the horizontal dimension the start point to create a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter rectangle means total 100 mm by 100 mm so based on the origin uh, you can move on the left side which will be the 50 mm and on the right side it will be 50 mm on the top side it will be 50 mm and from the origin on the bottom side it should be 50 mm so uh, please uh, take care uh, do not remove this negative sign you just have to change the values here so 50 mm by 50 mm right so x will be start from minus 50 means here to plus 50 to here means total will be the 100 mm right and this is the origin and same on the vertical side this is the origin so uh, above the origin uh, will be 50 mm and below the origin will be 50 mm so we will place 50 mm by 50 mm here okay so this is your 100 mm by 100 mm rectangle you can you can measure it uh, by using the measure tool okay and place any corner use any corner and see this uh, this is a 100 mm vertical line and uh, this is 100 mm horizontal line okay so this is uh, your uh, basic example that how the grids work uh, by taking the reference of uh, this corner okay now let's uh, start with our design so our design has a 59 mm horizontal distance and 75 mm vertical distance so we will create uh, one rectangle uh, which has a 59 and 75 mm dimension okay so play, let's place uh, one change the level uh, to the edge cuts and you know that our horizontal dimension is 59 mm so we can uh, separate it uh, divide by 2 so that we can uh, have uh, distance from uh, origin to the left side and the right side right so 59 divided by 2 it will be 29 by 5 means we have a x axis dimension uh, of 29.5 okay so let's go back to keycad and uh, for the horizontal 29.5 right here 29.5 on the both x okay and for the vertical uh, we have a distance of 75 mm so we can divide it 75 divided by 2 so it will be 37.5 and let's go back to keycad and enter the detail 37.5 here 37.5 here and press ok so now you can see that uh, we have uh, 75 mm of vertical distance and 59 mm of horizontal distance 75 and 59 okay means we have this uh, basic detail 59 uh, to 75 and you know that uh, we need a 77 
mm of uh, this node we have created uh, this particular portion uh, let's mark if possible okay and mark up yeah so we have created uh, sorry we have created uh, the vertical portion means we have created uh, this portion right so we can put another triangle to show this shape so this shape has a width of 77 and height of 39 right so again we can put uh, one more step uh, here right again change uh, the level to the edge cuts okay and now let's prepare the dimension let's reset it okay and cancel it okay so 77 mm is our horizontal dimension so the 77 divided by 2 it will be 38.5 so double click on the uh, details and horizontal details are the 38.5 on the both side 38.5 and let's measure the vertical values which is the 39 mm so 39 divided by 2 it will be 19.5 okay so it should be a uh, 19.5 and 19.5 okay so now you can see that we have our basic shape without uh, this uh, corner right uh, so we have prepared around our 50 percent of the task completed our 50 percent of the task and uh, now let's put uh, the lines or the corners first of all let's begin with the corner and we will put uh, all the corners with same radius and you can take uh, this uh, draw circle tool or you can also use the arc so i would like to prefer the arc uh, as a layer okay and now you want to you have to draw the arc right so first of all how you can uh, draw the arc it will be better to understand so first of all you have to uh, select the exact corner okay and uh, you have to define the radius first let us practice and after that uh, uh, we will continue our work okay so for example uh, you want to create a 5 mm of a radius circle okay you want to create arc which has a 5 mm radius so first of all select any origin over the mouse uh, as per uh, requirement of your radius okay so we have selected 5 mm and just click there and again over the mouse right so it will create an arc and uh, we have exactly created a 90 degree angle and again click so it will place the arc so our arc is created but it, it should be exactly inverted position so we can simply use uh, our tool to rotate it right and this is how we have created our arc and now if you want to move the arc uh, you can press the M button on your keyboard and now you can see that uh, this arc should be fitted on the horizontal line and same this a particular portion should be uh, aligned to the vertical line okay so this is how we have arranged our arc okay so this is how we will put uh, entire arc uh, to our uh, edge cuts okay so again uh, put arc here control v we will adjust uh, every arc uh, on the same time but uh, in this particular case whenever you will put two arcs on the same corner for example here we will need uh, this type of cut and here we will need this type of cut so both will be overlapped so uh, you have to take care while using the arc uh, so it should have the half distance means both the arc the vertical arc will be like this and the another arc will be like this so it should be overlap exact middle of this portion right so how we can measure the uh, uh, middle of the portion it, it is showing that the 9 mm is our horizontal distance right so we can say that the half of the 9 mm is 4.5 uh, 9 divided by 2 it, it is 4.5 so we have to create a arc such that it should have the radius of 4.5 so again let's take arc and and prepare the arc okay. so now we uh, should have a radius of 4.5 mm we can change it after uh, placing the arc we can change the radius anytime we want okay so for example let's create uh, 4.5 mm okay 
so this is our 4.5 mm arc that we have created now we can rotate and we can press as per our requirement okay so now we can adjust arc uh, to the vertical and horizontal line okay so successfully uh, we have put our first arc or the first corner and now let's create a second corner and uh, you can adjust it on the vertical and the horizontal line so see that we have arranged the second arc and now let's go for the further and this is our third arc automatically arranged and on the next arc side and let's move it to the vertical and arrange it properly okay so it's arranged properly on the uh, vertical line and let's copy and paste again and arrange the third arc okay now let's repeat the process for all the corners okay so successfully we have uh, implemented all the arcs uh, to our corners okay now it is uh, time to remove uh, the guidelines that the rectangular that we have added here so just remove the guidelines and we have all the corners with the dimension now what we have to do we have to directly connect all the line uh, simply okay so it is very easy process to join the line okay this is how our custom shape pcb border is completed but now you can see that uh, uh, this particular lines has a level of uh, front proper so it should be converted to the edge cuts now let's change all the layers manually one by one to the edge cuts okay so this is our outline uh, for the custom shape pcb is created right okay so this is our uh, custom shape and you can check it here so that see this uh, this will be your custom shape pcb and you also you can change the color uh, based on your requirement i think this will be the better one okay so this is your PCB, right? So based on the edge cut, we have created a simple uh, form of a custom shape PCB. This is our end of uh, today's session. Please let me know if you have any doubts, right? Thank you so much for today's session. We will meet soon in the next session.